Keywords drive SEO. You have to know what are people typing into Google. So Google has a new tool called Keyword Planner that's going to replace the old tool, Keyword Tool. So Keyword Planner is going to replace Keyword Tool, so we need to learn how to use the Keyword Planner. And in this video, I'm going to show you some tips and secrets about how to use the Keyword Planner uh, to identify those yummy, yummy keywords for your SEO strategy. Let's get started. All right, so welcome back. We're going to look at the Keyword Planner in detail. The code uh, for this uh, video and the materials is 55. So you can click on the YouTube description or go to jm-seo.org slash 55. And that's going to get you to all the class materials, uh, how to do this, what we're doing. All right, so first thing you have to understand about the new uh, keyword planner is you must have an AdWords account. If you don't have an AdWords account, it's not difficult to get one. Just go to adwords.google.com, showing there on the screen, adwords.google.com. Sign up for a free account. You don't actually have to pay any money. You just have to sign up for a free AdWords account. That's the first step. All right, so now that we're going to assume you have an AdWords account, we're going to play with these three, uh, three or four keyword patterns here. So I'm going to use this knee pain, knee surgery, knee surgeon, best knee surgeons. We're going to look at uh, sort of an example assuming uh, that we are a orthopedic surgeon and people are starting that search journey from, hey, my knee hurts to, so I'm going to Google knee pain to, uh-oh, I really think I might consider surgery to, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm going to type in knee surgeon, surgeon to, I'm absolutely ready. I'm going to do best knee surgeon. So as I teach in my classes, we want to look at educational keywords uh, to transactional keywords. And we're going to look at that uh, through the new keyword planner. Okay, so let's go to the keyword planner and let's sort of start with sort of step one, which is to get keyword ideas. So let's go to the keyword planner. So inside of AdWords, I just have sort of a fake account here. So we're going to go inside of AdWords. We're going to click to tools and analysis. We're going to click to keyword planner. That's going to get us to the Keyword Planner itself. We'll let that load here. And we're going to play with some keywords. Now, so it loads here. It's a little annoying, of course. It loads in a different way than you actually use it. Just click there. And let's just put in our first keyword. Let's put in knee pain. And let's hit in get ideas down here on the, on the left. Because the first sort of mission that you're on if you're doing SEO or if you're doing AdWords is keyword discovery. You want to understand sort of good keyword ideas. So you're going to put your keyword in here. Now once you're in the tool, you can change this at any time. And you can change this to knee surgeon and hit get ideas over here on the right and it's going to give you information. So once you're in the tool, the interface is a little different than that first initial look. Okay, so let's go back to knee pain. And let's get ideas for knee pain. Now here's where the tool has already has some issues, okay? I don't particularly like the ad group ideas. It just seems to clutter it up with a lot of garbage. Click on the keyword ideas tab. And it's going to give you some great ideas for that search. So here's knee pain. Here are the average monthly searches. And let's talk about this number here. They've changed the way that they do this. This is no longer knee pain at a broad search level. It's at an exact level only. So what are we talking about? What they're saying is worldwide, people going to google.com and typing in knee pain. And that's it. And nothing else. Not knee pain solution, not knee pain treatment, not knee pain doctor. But that exact search is 165,000 searches per month. And we're at all locations, which is again, google for the whole world. Doesn't mean the phrase match anymore. It means the exact match. Now, what is this guy over here? That's what people are willing to bid to get that click. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is put your keyword in and look for keyword ideas, blog post ideas, title tag ideas. So you can see here knee pain running, knee pain symptoms, chronic knee pain, and it's giving you the search volumes for those phrases per month. But here's again, this is exact. So this means, it doesn't mean knee pain relief as a phrase, it means 
3,600 people per month worldwide typed in the exact phrase knee pain relief, and that's it. No other keywords. So it's exact search match only at this point. That's how they've changed the volume. Okay, so let's talk about that volume as I teach in my classes. We want to fish where the fish are. So sort that by descending and look. Now here's the second thing that happens. We put in knee pain and it's junking us up with related keywords. Now those might be useful when you're starting. Okay, arthritis is sort of useful, but arthritis and knee pain are pretty different. Different. They're quite different. So let's say you don't you don't want to junk up the data with all those extra keywords. Google's kind of like a drug pusher. It just keeps pushing keywords on you. So I don't like that. Here's the trick. Let's say we're focusing just on knee pain. So type in knee pain over here on the left where it says include or exclude. Click that little pin here and it's kind of counterintuitive. Type in the exact same search term. So type in knee pain up here, knee pain down here, and that will get rid of all the garbage. It'll get rid of all those extra matches uh, that Google is um, forcing on us. So now we have knee pain, knee pain running, knee pain treatment, etc. So that's a great way to just get rid of garbage is to use this include exclude, counterintuitive, but put the exact same term here. Now let's clear the search. Let's go modify search. This is going to clear our search and let's go back to what we were doing. So first, we've got those keyword ideas. Let's talk about our points here. So first point here is it is no longer the phrase match or broad match. It is exact match. That's the only data that it's giving us. Second, uh, let's talk about location. I forgot to talk about that. And third, remove the garbage from the tool by resetting it. Let's talk about location. Let's go back here and look at locations. Let's do that knee pain again. Okay, and let's we've got knee pain, knee pain. So we're very, very tight. Now let's go over here to locations. Here is an actual improvement in the tool. So I can type in here United States and hit add. So now I've narrowed the search down. I'm just looking at knee pain across the United States only, 90,500. Let's say I'm just targeting New York City. So I'm going to remove United States and I'm going to put in here New York. And here you can see you can do the city or the state. So let's do New York City. Click over here to get that added. So that means there's 2,900 searches per month with the exact phrase knee pain originating in New York City. So this location is pretty good. It's a new thing. You used to not be able to target down to a metropolitan area or a city. Um, that's useful. Probably what most of us are going to want to do is put in United States, Canada, Great Britain, whatever. So put United States in there. So now I've zeroed into that location. Remember again, down here, knee pain, knee pain. If you want to do knee surgery, change this to knee surgery change this to knee surgery to get that nice tight like hey what are my real keywords don't give me a lot of garbage google don't give me so many suggestions give me what i'm looking for so knee surgery there's about 9900 per month in the united states okay so we've learned exact match location how to remove the garbage now let's talk about this second issue second big issue comparing keywords and that's a lot of the art of SEO, a lot of the art of AdWords is narrowly focusing on transactional keywords. And let's talk about transactional uh, versus educational keywords. So here's a nice keyword pattern. Knee pain, my knee hurts. That's an educational search. Should I take Tylenol? Should I just stop running? Knee surgery, my knee has hurt so much, I'm just, I'm getting to the end of my rope here. That's knee surgery. I'm ready to think about surgery. Knee surgeon, I'm there. I'm looking. I'm close to the transaction. Best knee surgeon, guess what? People do not search for worst knee surgeons. They search for best. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to do the transaction. So when I think about those keywords, and now wouldn't it be awesome in this new tool if we could compare those across volume and value? So let's take that phrase I built there. Let's copy that. Go to your keyword planner. Now here's the little trick. I'm going to paste that in here. So what you want to do, if you want to compare keywords, knee pain, put in here knee pain, comma, knee surgery, comma, knee surgeon, comma, best. So, so compare a bunch of keywords. Let's go down here and let's remove this 
term here for now and just click somewhere else. I don't know why they don't have a nice way to you know get ideas I guess. Okay now look over here and then look at what this tells us. So we can still use the keyword planner if we've done a little thinking on our own and we thought about what's an educational search versus what's a transactional search we can look at those searches and you can see here there's a lot more searches for knee pain, 90,500 per month in the United States than for best knee surgeons. Okay, that makes sense, right? These are the educational searches, these are the transactional searches. Now look at your CPC bids, however. This is what people are willing to bid per click. Again, remember you've got to understand the basics here. This means if somebody goes to Google and they type in best knee surgeons, and they click somewhere that on average South Bay Orthopedic in this example on average they paid four dollars for that click to Google it's a it's a competition it's an auction it's a bid so this higher number down here is a way of telling you this is the yummy yummy fish these are the fish that people want to eat these are the fish that are close to the transaction see how it goes from 162 to 403 the volume goes down, the value goes up. Just like when you go to a fish market, there's a lot more tilapia, there's a lot more perch, there's not so much organic salmon from Alaska that was picked yesterday day by an Eskimo and FedEx to you at your Napa Valley restaurant, right? That's why the price per pound is higher on organic salmon than it is on tilapia, but there's a lot more tilapia. So quantity versus quality. So you can use the tool by putting in a string of keywords with commas between them. You can look at your volume and your value and get a sense of volume versus value trade-off. If you have two keywords you're not sure about, you know, do more people search for, I don't know, let's put in divorce attorney versus divorce lawyer. Put those in with comma, comma, get ideas. That should tell us it's about the same. It's about the same or it's a little confused. So it's a way to start together. This tool is just quite frankly not as good as the old tool at getting to those nuances. But that is what you're trying to understand is uh, by putting those commas in. So you're going to put those commas in and compare them. My example from knee pain works pretty well. So we've talked about volume at this point. We've talked about value. Okay, now let's talk about using the Keyword Planner to reverse engineer competitors. So I did some searches and I found some physicians in New York City who rank pretty well on Google for knee surgery. So let's take this guy. Let's say we're competing against Adam Cohen. Bless his heart, we're going to compete him. We're going to do better than you, Adam, in terms of our SEO. So we're going to take his, his, his web page. We're going to go to the Google, Google keyword, Google, the Google. We're going to go to the Google keyword tool. We're going to hit modify search. We're going to put a competitor's landing page in here. We're going to hit get keyword ideas. So this is a way to take a competitor and look at their ideas. So we took Adam Cohen's website, we put his website into the tool, and look at that, orthopedic, knee pain, torn meniscus, knee brace, orthopedic surgeon, hip replacement. So then you sit there with your client, hey, are we orthopedic? Yes. Do we do hips? No. Uh, do we do knee braces? Yes or no. This is a way to put a competitor in, get keyword ideas, and then pop them back into the tool. So let's take orthopedic surgeon, ortho, orthopedic that's a hard word to spell orthopedic surgeon and let's put in orthopedic surgery and hit get idea so you can put a competitor in the tool oh it's mad about that that's this is funny you sometimes you have to reset the tool so let's reset the the tool let's take away from here put it here Google is not known for their user interfaces people this is not the iPhone. Not intuitive. So you're going to look at, oh, okay, where, look at that. Orthopedic surgery is actually a little bit higher than orthopedic surgeon, but there's more searches here. So you're going to take a competitor, copy their URL, go to the planner. If you want to reset it from the beginning, go up here, keyword planner. Now I'm resetting it to the very beginning. It's going to say something like, do you want to continue? because I'm Google and I do terrible user interfaces. Okay, I'm going to go down here. 
I'm going to put in that competitor, paste, get ideas. Then I look, here's my keyword groups. They're okay, they're not that useful, shoulder, orthopedics. If you're doing AdWords, by the way, you want to have really tight keyword groups. This is garbage, the way they've set this up. It's going to clutter your campaign. I do not recommend using this system to create groups. It's too messy. But keyword ideas, Okay, shoulder surgery, New York, best New York. Those are some good ideas. Your senior geographics. Now, there's not a lot of volume there, only 10, but it's giving you a clue. People put in shoulder doctor in New York City, sports medicine. This is a good way to get ideas and then go back into the tool uh, to compare volume and value. So, second, uh, so if you think about it, first feature, get keyword ideas. Second feature, compare keywords with commas between them, look at volume and value trade-offs. Third feature, take a competitor, put their key, their tool, their, uh, their tool, put their website in, compare what the keywords are that you get from those. Use your competitors, use people that do better than you on Google to steal their ideas. And again, there are other ways to do this, but this is one way to use the tool. Now finally, let's sort of wrap up and let's talk about some useless features of the tool. So in the tool, unfortunately, you know, there's some stuff that just is really not useful. Negative keywords is just stupid. This is used in AdWords. This is if you don't want your ad to show. It really isn't appropriate to put it in at this level. This is the wrong place to put this into your AdWords campaign. So it's just a, a great example of really bad user interface design on Google's point. Because at this point, we're looking at keyword discovery. We're trying to figure out our keywords. It's a totally stupid place uh, to put that. That's totally stupid. Keyword filters. This is also really useless unless you're just so lost in the woods here that you have no idea uh, of uh, what your volumes and values are. So again, I don't really like that. That might be have some use for uh, AdWords. Hide keywords in my account. I mean, it's just crazy why they put this in here. I mean, I show adult ideas. Okay, I guess that if we're going to do uh, some sort of adult website, but this is just pretty useless. So the, a lot of this stuff down here is kind of not very useful. I, I do think the most uh, kind of counterintuitive part uh, to the tool is uh, when you go in, you put in uh, let's do it with knee pain again. This is so so counterintuitive. You put knee pain in here. Oh, get product ideas is also not very useful. Knee pain, and then remember, you're going to get some uh, garbage in here. If you don't like that, then go down here and re-put in knee pain. Put it in those two places that tends to tighten up the tool so you can get a better sense of uh, a particular phrase. So at that point, I think we've wrapped up. We've done everything. If you're interested, I am going to give away some little goodies at this point. I'm trying to do a better job at that. So I've got my extra list of my favorite keyword tools uh, beyond just the keyword planner. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can fill the form out and I will give you that download. So that in a nutshell is the new and uh, improved. Uh, and I put sick after that. If you know what that means, that means meh, kind of kidding. New and improved. Google Keyword Planner. If you have any questions, put them in the YouTube uh, description below. Subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff. And uh, thank you so much for watching.